Books. I'm Tina Hoy with Follow the Coin. We are the homepage of digital currency. KNC Miner is up to some really great things lately. They launched in June of 2013 and reportedly made $70 million in revenue during its first year of semiconductor merchandising operations from selling Bitcoin mining equipment. But it seems they were not able to meet with quite a few customers' demand for the highly sought-after hardware, which was actually pretty hard to procure, leaving many who pre-ordered dissatisfied with long wait times and seeking refunds. Fast forward to September 6, 2014 today, and the company are getting out of selling Bitcoin mining machines completely. And they're going to make things right to their customer. Some who pre-ordered equipment for thousands of dollars per unit in December, when Bitcoin was priced above $1,000, are still waiting on delivery of their KNC semiconductor boxes, even as the price of Bitcoin is now below $500. Yikes! That is not good for business. Uh, and so KNC Miner is putting together some steps to make do and do right by their initial customers. And that is how you build loyalty and trust. Broken down, Bitcoin mining is a little bit tricky and pretty difficult to do. And with Bitcoin mining, it's not going to be possible to mine and it is now harder to make up for the original investment on a Bitcoin mining machine. Well, let's break it down. There's been a change in the Bitcoin equation that has led the company to get out of equipment sales altogether. The more people that mine Bitcoin, the harder it is to generate. That means that people are going to need faster and more powerful machines. And the machines that are now reasonable to sell to customers will require way more power than one can generate in any personal home. Sam Cole, the CEO and founder of KMT Miner, was quoted saying, We don't like people sitting in these queues for five months. It's terrible. We generate a lot of stress for people. So, they have announced that every one of the hundreds of people who requested a refund will be getting refunds. Talk about taking care of your customers. In addition to the refunds, KNC Miner has pivoted the business and has come up with a new way to serve Bitcoin customers. What they've done is built a vast data center, which consumes 30 megawatts of power in northern Sweden in the Arctic Circle. Why the Arctic Circle in Sweden? Because it's cold there. What Many folks don't understand is that Bitcoin mining produces a ton of heat. It's really hot, even with just one miner in the room. And so it'll just heat up your entire apartment. You won't even need a heating machine anymore when it's winter. And so they chose the Arctic Circle because they needed cold air. And hence, you're able to produce a data center that is very efficient and has a little less cost overhead in terms of reducing electricity bills because of heating costs. There, KMT Miner generates Bitcoin for itself as revenue and also has started leasing power to customers. Customers of Bitcoin can now go to their website and pay a fee to get a certain amount of compute power for a duration of time. The difference now is that customers get access to the mining equipment immediately according to coal and it makes the math easier to do. That's excellent. KNC Miner has closed on its first venture capital round, which valued the company at hundreds of millions of dollars, according to Mr. Cole. It has already opened a Series B. This round would help the company open more data centers and provide more value to customers. Other investors in the Series A round are investment bank GP Bullhound. Crandom is a lead investor of KNC Miner, and they are investing out of a $175 million fund, which also counts Spotify as one of its portfolio companies. Way to go on really putting your existing and future customers first. Good job, guys. And this is a great example of excellent customer service in any industry and business ethics.